Good day. Are you able to find the missing number in this rather challenging puzzle? The numbers in the puzzles are as follows. In the first row, we have 10, 5 and 3. In the second row, we have 9, 6 and 5. And in the final row or the third row, the numbers are 8, 4 and a question mark. As usual, we need to know what numbers represent the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to the solution of a challenging puzzle. The numbers in the puzzles are, in the first row, we have 10, 5, 3, second row, 9, 6, 5, and in the final row, we have 8, 4, and a question mark. What is the number that is represented by the question mark? If you have solved this puzzle, well done. This is a challenging puzzle. So in this puzzle, you can either work in terms of rows or column. In fact, the answers to this puzzle, you have to work in terms of row. Okay, so you have to work in terms of row. So 10, 5 equal to 3, 9, 6 equal to 5, and 8, 4 equal to the question mark. So what we're going to do, we're going to add the first two numbers, column 1, column 2. So 10 plus 5 is going to be 15, and then 10 minus 5 is going to be 5. And the last step, we're going to take 15 divided by 5, and we get a 3. Similarly, in the second row, we're going to add 9 plus 6. Again, it's going to be 15. And then 9 minus 6 is going to be 3. And then you divide 15 by 3. And the answer is 5. So in our last row, 8, 4 and a question mark. This is how we're going to do it. So 8 plus 4 is going to be 12. And then 8 minus 4 is going to be 4. And then we divide 8, 12 divided by 4. And the question mark equals to 3. I'm sure most of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone and have a good day.